قد جاءكم من الله نور وكتاب مبين. We bow to no man, sir, only to our God. <laughs> you see, dear king, anarchy already. I let it pass. I'm more concerned about their attitude before God than before me. Continue. Not very long ago, dear king, we were people living in ignorance. Then God sent us a prophet. He called us to worship one God and to always tell the truth. He asked us to love and care for our parents, to help our neighbors and give to the needy. He taught us that our time here is brief and that everything around us is a trust from God. The earth, our bodies, we must take care of them and we will stand before God in a coming day and answer for our deeds. What they teach, Amr, is the gospel of Jesus. No, dear king, they... they do not respect your religion. They say that... that Jesus is not the son of God, but merely a man. Of Jesus, we say what our prophet said to us, that he is the servant of God, his messenger, his word, and his spirit which he cast upon Mary the Blessed Virgin. What we believe, and what you believe, are like these two beams of light, separate, yet coming from the same source. I would not give you up for a mountain of gold. You may live here as long as you like. As for you, Amar, take your gifts and return to Mecca. Thought that they could out gamble Abu Lahab. Well, everything they had. <laughs> it wasn't you two I beat, was it? Abu Jahal's nephew, Umar ibn al Khattab, has joined the Muslims. Umar? Umar the Great? The man in Umar? Yes, Umar, yes! No! Not Umar. Seems he heard the Quran. The beauty of it cleansed his heart, he said. I know just what to do. Hear me, oh ye gods. We can't do anything to stop the Muslims. Maybe you can help. Oh, shut up, you drunken fool. Strike them with the plague. Would you please? That's it. You solved it. I did? We'll treat them like outcasts. Cut them off from everything. Great. Then they'll leave here and spread their lies throughout all of Arabia. We won't let them go anywhere. We'll keep them right here and watch them starve. Starve? How? We will sign an agreement and hang it in the Kaaba. It will say that no one shall sell or buy anything from Muhammad's followers or those who protect him. No one shall marry them. No one shall assist them in any way. They will be as outcasts to all of Mecca till Muhammad sees the error of his ways.
Thank you, Mohammed. The Muslims were cut off. Most were afraid to stay in their own homes. In order to survive, they fled to a nearby hill. Thank you. I am sorry there couldn't be more. Still hungry, Mama? I know, darling, I know. Go, my son. Do you think Malik knows what's happening to us? I sent a message, but I don't know, Hadi. You can't leave now, Malik. Not alone. I can't stay here while my family suffers. That's all there is, son. The Prophet's wife, Khadijah, has sold everything she has for these few provisions. Still, it won't last for long. Who would have thought this would go on for three years? You are weak, messenger of God. I know Islam teaches patience and perseverance, but you can't keep giving up your food for others. to you. Then it would be easier to deal with Muhammad, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Well then, what I have to say may please you. Muhammad has revealed something to me. If it is false, he is yours to do with as you please. If it is true, you will end your boycott on him and all Muslims. What is it? It is this. The boycott pact you signed and hung in the Kaaba has been eaten by insects. Except for the following words. In the name of God. <gasps> Years they shared. 
she was the mother of his children. The first believer. His friend. We called this time a year of sadness because Abu Talib was dying too. Come near. 